uh, appear to them um, that they know who you are and and um, and then yeah you do the miracle that that is in your hands so uh, please um, be with us uh, today and um, we can enjoy yourself in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. Well, today is, uh, um, I want to continue with uh, first, Corinth, first Corinthians, and uh, today is the 13th, okay? I don't know uh, if any of you read this verse before. I know, uh, I don't know how many, but how many of you, use, you know, think, how many of you use this verse, the Corinthians, you know, talk about love, okay? How many of you use it in your wedding? Okay, how many of you do that? Eh, yes, <laughs> a few, okay? I, I'm one of them too, okay? I remember, you know, that day, and I, I still remember, you know, who did it. It uh, was one of the, my friends uh, from California. He, he was in Y Woman. He, he passed and read the uh, First Corinthians 13, okay? So all of us heard about it, okay? And uh, so we want to talk about that uh, today and next week, okay? Um, uh, it's going to be kind of two parts. It's, kinda, it's not a long um, um, chapter. Actually, it's only 13 uh, verses. So, so I recommend that during this week, okay, you set up time and read the whole chapter. Read the whole chapter. Today, I want to talk a little bit, kind of halfway, I think until seven kind of thing. We will see where, where, where we're going. But uh, I recommend that you read it again, okay? And maybe, you know, remember, you know, that time, okay? But, uh, but yeah, read the whole chapter and, uh, and come next week, you know, with kind of that mood, okay? Um, um, but anyway, okay, so I want to start, okay, with this, okay? Yes. Oh, sorry. Back. Okay, one back. Okay. Okay, thank you. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we will, we will, we will figure it out. There's not that many, okay? Um, anyway, okay. So 1 Corinthians 13, 1 and 2. Um, what well, we talk on the 12, okay, and we want to talk maybe in the 14, they, they, they're still talking about the gift, okay? Um, uh, Paul, he was talking about the gift. And they say, you know, we, we, we uh, you know, say last, last week that, no, last week, no, two weeks ago, okay? They talk about um, that I don't want you to be uninformed, okay? I don't want to be ignorant about the gift, so we're talking about the gift, and in the middle of the gift, he come and say this, okay? He come and get the, the, the um, uh, uh, chapter 13, and talk about love, okay? And then we want to know why uh, uh, Paul is just talking about the gift, and they say, uh, <clears throat> I want you to, before you continue with the gift, I want you to pay attention, you know, with this. I want, they make it in, in the middle of the, uh, not in the middle, but uh, a part of the, the gift. He trying to say why is that important. Why, why the gift is important, but also the love is important. And says over here, um, 1 Corinthians 13, 1 and 2 says, Suppose I speak in the languages of human beings or of angels, or of angels. If I don't have love, I'm only allowed gong, or a noisy symbol. Two, suppose I have the gifts of prophecy. Suppose I can understand all secret things of God and know everything about Him. And suppose I have enough faith to move mountains. If I don't have love, I'm, I am nothing at all. When he mentioned this, he was talking about the gift. I say, first of all, say the, 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 the gift, the tongues, okay? He's not going to mention one gift and say the tongues. and say, look, if I had the gift of the tongues, say, even if I, uh, 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 the human being, language of the human being and or angels, it's like all of them. Imagine how all of them, okay? He gave all the, all the tongues. Then later, they're going to, 
um, uh, uh, prophesy, okay, prophecy, prophesy. Then later they go secrets of God, okay, so it's knowledge, okay, the knowledge, the word of knowledge is that. And then they say, and then the faith, okay, to move mountains, okay. So he said, he's telling you, if I have all the gifts together, not only one, all of them together, say, but I have, but I don't have love, I am nothing at all. Or say, like that, even if I have all the gifts, not only one or two, like I have all of them, it's it, it really powerful, but I have no love, it, it doesn't matter, is what he says. So it's like, okay. What happened in this? Because in that time, uh, the church in Corinth, there was, okay, um, there was really uh, excited, you know, about the gift, okay? They was really, oh, look, but they used it instead of uh, for uh, bringing unity or, 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 um, or the purpose of the gift that we, you know, talked two weeks ago. Instead of that, they used it for themselves, they try to feel like, huh, look at this. I have this gift and you don't have. And they start kind of, you know, getting uh, uh, like I'm more spiritual because I have this kind of gift and you don't have. And the people, other people feel less because they don't have that gift. So that's because of, because of that. Paul sent this and said, look, even if you have all the gifts, not all of you, not a few, but all of them. And, and in a great way, but you have love, it doesn't matter. Okay. You are nothing, okay, at all, is what, what the Paul saying, you know, to the Corinth. So sometimes, you know, we're, we use our gift, and when we use our gift and, 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 and in a right way, okay, in a right way, we bring unity, okay? We, we encourage others. We do God's will in our life. But when we use the gift that we already have, okay, but we try to use it for the own purpose, okay, to, to make Make them feel that like we're more special or more spiritual to others than in the right way. That's why Paul say, look, 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 you know, it's okay. It's okay that you use your gift. I'm nothing against using your gift. But I want to use your gift in the right way. And not only that, I want you to not only be good using your gift, but be better Put in love to all these gifts that you have. So, over here is not like, okay, what do you want? What do you prefer? Love or gift? What, 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 what do you prefer? It's not about what you prefer. It was the order. What is going to be the order? The order needs to be love first, and then they give. It's not one or the other. Like, oh, I have love, but, and that's, no, no, that's okay. Love, and using your gift with love, it's the perfect way to use it. It's what does uh, Paul is mentioned, you know, to us right now. He wants you to be in the right order. First love, then the gift. I say, no, ignore, no, like, uh, uh, they're bad, you have a gift, no, doesn't, no, no, no. That's okay to have a gift, but use it with love. It's what uh, Paul is trying to uh, let us know over here. Um, um, when, uh, when, uh, when Paul used love in these uh, 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 specific uh, um, verses, they used the word agape. Oh, agape. Yeah, one of those, okay? The problem the accent. Agape, yes. I, I went correct, okay? Agape. So that is the word that he used. And there's many uh, words that in Greek they use been using, you know, for, uh, uh, for love. Sometimes, you know, when they translate, they don't have that many words, so they use love. They put love over there. But it, they use different kind of love. Um, uh, if you kind of Google it or, or, or try to find out, they, they, they have a few, a few uh, um, different, one more. One more, yes. There's uh, like a seven uh, uh, the different kinds, and, and they put more. They have also nine. They have... Uh, so they have a different ones, uh, and uh, I want to mention the five, the five, six, and seven only, okay, uh, right now, because this one is not what is happening in the in the uh, in the in the old Greek, okay, when the ancient, sorry, the ancient Greek, okay, 
is only use the first four, okay? Eros, storage, philia, and agape. I won't, I won't talk about it. But the other, you know, five, six, seven, let's to use it. And also they put like a mania that is kind of crazy love. And they have a other stuff, okay? But we want to focus on the first, you know, four. The other, you know, three, okay, five, six, and seven. I want to mention it, okay, just to, so you can know about what, what those are. But yeah, ludus is uh, playful or flirtatious love, okay? Um, like a, like a, uh, like a flir flirt, okay? Um, uh, they're char characterized by um, teasing and, uh, and the light heart hardness, okay? That's ludus. Pragma is enduring love based in, on commitment, understanding, and compromise or long-term relations. Philautia is uh, self-love or self-care, okay? So those things, uh, we want to just mention it because sometimes, like, oh, there's more than only four. Well, in the, in the ancient uh, Greek, the, the first four, what we want to talk today, before, one before, one, yeah. No, before, yes, thank you. Okay, so then those four are, uh, that is, um, that we want to explain a little bit more. Okay, so they say that the first one was to be Eros. So Eros, it says, was, um, it described as we might guess from the word itself erotic, erotic, okay, love. It referred to a sexual love, okay. Second one, it says the second word of love, it referred to a family love. The kind of love there's between a parent, a child, or between the family members in general. Okay, it's storage. Philia, okay, is the third word of love. It speaks um, on uh, brotherly, friendship, and affection. Uh, it is uh, the love or a deep love between friendship and partnership. Okay, it said that the highest love that um that uh a man could do or, or we could do without God, okay? Without God, I think it's the most that we could go, you know, close. But then is the number four, that is agape, agape okay? That is uh, the fourth word of love. And this love is, uh, is a love without changing. It's a self-giving love and give without demanding or expecting repayment. It's the love of uh, uh, the great, and it can be given to the unlovable people, okay? Or those ones who not love us, okay? It's love that loves even when it's rejected. Agape love, or agape love, give and love because it wants to. It doesn't, you know, demand or expect any, you know, payment back for the love they give, Okay? So that is the agape love, that self-giving. That the and if we, okay, if we could uh, imagine, okay, this how they explain, you know, this kind of love, and this is the word that uh, Paul used in these uh, uh, verses, is like a Jesus, okay? It's the way that Jesus, you know, uh, do it for us. Sometimes we're thinking like, oh yes, you know, I just said Jesus in my heart. I. I, you know, God, you know, called me, I accepted, and that's why I'm Christian. I could be something like that. But in other occasions, I remember many times saying no to God. I remember, you know, people from my, from my family, you know, come and say, you know, God love you. God wants to have a relationship with you and say, hmm, thank you, okay? If you think you go to heaven, you could do it, okay? Let me live my life. Is what I say to them. So in that time, I don't reject, you know, my family member or my friend or whatever, you know, want to share with me. Yes. Hello, hello. Can I hear me? Oh. Okay. Doesn't work. I could do it over here. Oh, can you? I move too much. Can I get one of those? Hello, hello. Yes, 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 yes. Hello, hello. Yes, yes. Perfect. Okay. Okay. 
Perfect. <laughs> so, so when I reject, when I reject one of my um, uh, uh, family members or anyone who wants to um, uh, talk to me about, you know, Jesus, I reject him. Okay, and I reject him many times. You know, the other day I was thinking like, huh. What's many people who are going to, you know, share the gospel to me, and I say, no, 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 I'm okay. You know, thank you, but no, I'm okay. I want to live my life. And I was, huh, many years until I was 26, and then I, I decided, you know, to, to say yes to the love that he had for me. But I reject and reject. And many of us, I don't know if they're your case, but many of us, you know, be in that the same uh, uh, situation, that we reject him because when he have the opportunity or when you feel it, I remember also I went one time uh, at the church. I wasn't a Christian. My my sister invited me, you know, to the church because I bet, okay, we bet, and uh, she win. <laughs> and uh, and then she said, you know, to me like, uh, if you, if I win, she said to me, if I win, you wanna go one day, you know, to the church. And I say no. If I win, I go the whole month because I don't think it's gonna happen, okay. But uh, happened, and then I go to the church, and I remember in the church, and I was sitting there, like you over there, and then the, the pastor was, you know, telling, and, and finally they say, who wants to accept Jesus? And I really thinking that he's talking about me, like directly. And like, oh, yeah, then, and then when I try to, you know, stand up and, and walk, you know, in front, then I see other people, you know, do the same. Like, uh, no, it wasn't talking to me, okay? So I said to him, you want to talk to me? Talk directly that I, that I have no doubt that was you. And he did it that way. I prefer to be the other, the other you know, way, but anyway, he do what I say, okay? Because I say, no, 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 no. Maybe everybody feel the same thing. No, so it's a feeling. No, 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 no. Okay, I want to make sure that it's you. And then when that happened, I knew that was him, okay? But in that case, I reject Many times when I feel it, like, oh, yes, I was thinking it's him. But then I said, no, <laughs> other people, you know, do the same thing. So it's maybe not for me. So when we reject him over and over, he doesn't give up to us. And it's the love that Jesus has and it's the love that God has for us. Even though if we reject him, he never, you know, give up on us. He always um, uh, waiting and waiting and waiting. And when I go, you know, over there. You know, explaining more about this, okay? Um, um, <coughs> when I go to the 13, yes, thank you. Okay, so 1 Corinthians 13, 3 says, If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to, the, to hardship, and I may boast, that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Over here, it says, you know, there's people sometimes to, to think that because they believe in something or, 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 or they're suffering, you know, for the Lord, they, they gain, in, you know, the, the, the heaven. I say, no, 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 no. I suffer for the Lord. It's, it's suffering is it's everything kind of stuff. It's, or people say sometimes thinking that because uh, you've been killed or you die, Okay, because something that I really believe, you want to have a, uh, something in the afterlife. Okay, that's, you know, something, if you do that sacrifice, something you want to be rewarded. Okay, we have an example of, uh, of uh, religious that think that way. Okay, they say, if you die, if you die because of, of, of that reason, in the, in the afterlife, okay, you will have I don't know, some reward. And the people believe, and the people do that. Okay? I don't know, you remember in the um, Second World War, um, uh, the term kamikaze. Okay? The term kamikaze is uh, uh, two words. Kami, that means God or divine. Okay? And kasi, that is wind or air. Okay? So, so they said that it's kind of divine wind, okay? The divine wind. They, they, they call themselves like that. That's what kamikaze means. So it means, well, the purpose was, you know, fill the, the airplane, you know, full of uh, um, explosive. 
and then go directly to the ally um, um, ship to, to commit suicide. And then most of them was young in, in, uh, in, because they don't, they don't have a time to prepare, you know, them. So they normally was the young one, you know, around 22, 20, 22, you know, they do that. For, and it was a big honor for them. There was an honor. And they say that because you do that, it's like a something rewarded is going to be there. And they did it. And they did it. So there's people to do things like that, to things that, uh, that they could, you know, do a sacrifice. And thinking that because you do that sacrifice, then something, you know, needs to be over there, okay? But we don't go that far away, okay? We also think, okay, and I don't know you, but I've thinking before, that if I go to the church, okay, and, and wait, well, over here is only one hour, but in Mexico it was two hours. I went to the church two hours in Mexico. Maybe I was more holy over there. Um, in some way, God needed to help me during the week. Like a, I don't know, nobody say anything. The church doesn't say anything about that. But you're thinking like a, if I pay the price to listen to this guy, <laughs> whatever is here, then God should help me during the week. I want to let you know that is not true. Okay, if you come for that reason, you think, I'm going to be there because, you know, God needs to help me during the week. It's wrong. You come over here to know about the, 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 the Bible, and then when you apply <laughs> in the relation that you have with the Lord, then you leave it. And that's the way it is. I talk to the people. You thinking that just coming over here and, 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 and handle, you know, this guy in front of, of you, talking and talking and talking. And you're also thinking, like, after this, I'm going to go eat um, over here. Oh, I need to do this. I need to, oh, okay. what did he say? Okay. And, and I knew that because I've been many times over there. <laughs> I was many times over there. I was in a hurry, you know, arriving late and then sitting and, and then trying to pay attention and then uh, talking to my wife, like, okay, what we going to do? And then, uh, like, uh, texting each other, like, uh, just here and there, okay? <laughs> And then trying to like uh, make you know something after, and and don't pay attention. And then later I don't know what it is. So just, you know come and do what you need to do and can leave. And thinking just because of that time, that I sacrifice my time, that's gonna be enough for the Lord to work. Okay, okay. If I handle more time, if I get you know more more days, maybe. But it's not like that. So if that you're thinking, I want to let you know that. Uh, Okay, even though I want you to be here, yes, but it's not the right way to be here. It's to see how do you think God is calling you or, or telling you something and then put in practice. And then putting in practice is when you get, okay, what God has for you. When you walk in, the, um, uh, uh, in, his, um, in his will, okay? Anyway, so that's the... Um, the, uh, when the people think sometimes that making uh, uh, some kind of, a, um, I don't know, uh, sacrifice is enough. So God only wants you the sacrifice. No, he wants the obedient more than the sacrifice. Okay? Um, okay, so another thing is uh, uh, in the, in the uh, 1 Corinthians 13 say that he, if, if I, what say, if I, um, but my body, okay, if I possess, okay, if I possess, to the poor. If I, oh, sorry, if I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship, I may, that might be boss. Okay, so I want to do it to the poor. Okay, I want to do the first part. If I give all I possess to the poor, what happened when the, the young rich, the rich young, the rich young ruler, you know, came to the Jesus? He came. And he asked, you know, what do I need to do to, to, to get the eternal life? And Jesus, knowing him, he doesn't say, you're a liar, okay? It's not like that. You, you didn't do all the commandments. No, he doesn't say that. He said, yep, you're right. And now he switch and say, now you need to love. <laughs> now, if you do this, okay, in the right way, of course, then it's the way that you uh, love, okay, that the way that you could love. 
Okay, that thing doesn't allow you to go to the better way, okay? To the better that is the love. So that's the young ruler says, no, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm okay with that kind of stuff, okay? And, and he denies, okay? He doesn't want, you know, to be part of it. So when, uh, when that happened uh, to him, it's, it's like, a, no, I prefer what I have, okay? And imagine that he did it, but he doing it with the love <laughs> that God, you know, uh, uh, wants, and it is it's, it's nothing also. Okay, so maybe it's one a part of it, you know, trying to switch, you know, from loving things, okay, to loving others. Maybe it was the part of, but he never got to the teaching. He was, he decided, you know, to quit, you know, before the time. Okay, then another one, yes. Then the First Corinthians thirteen four and four a. Over here in the in the thirteen four to through six. It's like a two parts. One thing is talking about the what is, what is love. And the other one says what is not love. And so what is the positive, okay, what it is and what is not. And because sometimes when we, you know, think in love, sometimes we think in the feelings, okay. Over here, Paul doesn't talk about feelings. Paul talks about actions, He's talking about this is what it means to love or to love, okay? He's talking about action, not a feeling. Like, oh, I feel, uh, oh, yes, uh, that's my feeling. I feel loved, then I'll be able to do it. No, 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 no. He says, do the actions, okay? He show love with action. So, yes. So the first, okay, one more. Yes. The first part is... Love is patient, love is kind. Okay? Love is patient, love is kind. That is what it is. Okay? And also switch and say what is not. It says, it, it does not envy, it does not boast, is not, is, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Okay? So the first two says, this is what it is. And the other one say, what is not. And when he said this, okay, the first, you know, two, he's talking about the love is patient. When, uh, when we talk, uh, we're thinking about that, and we're thinking in, in, in the Lord, we could go to the one before, one before. We could go to the second Peter, you know, three nine. And sometimes you're thinking like, well, since I born, um, the people, the, the, my family who was Christian, because I grew up with half of my family is Christian and half of the, my family is not Christian. And and the reason why the the half of my family were not Christian is because of the testimony of the Christian ones. So what's kind of so half of my family always saying, like, it's the time. This is the time since I born. This is the time, you know, the wars and everything. And every time you could hear that kind of stuff. When, you know, the year 2000 coming, oh, this is the time. And now they say, oh, this is the time. And, and all the time says that this is the time. And maybe they're right. Okay, maybe they're right. But the thing is, when we are here and still have opportunity and we still are alive, it's because God is patient for us. He's patient for those one who, who didn't know him. He wants everyone, you know, come to him. Say Second Peter 3, 9, say, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promises. As some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. So, God is giving us all the opportunity to keep talking about him. Okay? Give the opportunity to more people to know about him. So the, that patient that he have, he have it because he love. Okay? It's not because like I'm, I have more time over here. Man, I could wait a little bit more. Okay? It's not like that. It's like a, I love. Okay? So and so. So I hope somebody 
of my, the people that, I, that is my, my, my son and daughters could go and share with them, okay, to be part of it also. That's why he waiting and waiting and waiting. Even though we see, you know, the, the things that the, um, uh, the people say that it's almost the ending of the times. Yeah, we all, since I born, I've been in the ending of the times. And not only that, before Jesus leave, the, the, the disciples asking Jesus, like, uh, you know, when is it going to be? <laughs> like, uh, in four more days? Uh, when is it going to be? Like, uh, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay? So that's only my father who is in heaven knows. And, and he will do it when he thinks it's okay. But uh, and Peter says over here that he's waiting and waiting for us to share love with others. And when we share love to others, we share Jesus, you know, to others. If we want to um, kind of put Jesus instead of love, can you move one mm, before? No, 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 before, before. Yeah, uh, yeah, next. Next. Mm, no, next. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Okay, I, normally when I do that, I go back and forth, but anyway, sorry. Uh, okay, um, of 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 6, they say, instead of saying love, how about we put Jesus? Okay, Jesus is patient. Yeah, okay. Jesus is kind. He does not envy. Uh, Jesus, not envy. Jesus doesn't, uh, oh, yeah, does, you know, didn't boast, okay? Jesus is not proud, okay? Jesus um, um, does this other, other, others. Jesus is not self-seeking. Also, he loved everyone, okay? He's not self-seeking. Jesus don't delight in evil, but rejoice in the truth, okay? So, if we put Jesus over there, it really could say like a, huh, yes, that's, that's Jesus that I know. That the Jesus that I know is him. But now, instead of Jesus, can we put our names over there? That could be easy for us to put the name. Maybe we put the name in uh, patient uh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I could do it. I know all the time. Kind with certain people. Not everyone. Okay. And then, little by little, you could know where you need to grow in order to become more like Christ. So, when you read it, when you read this passage, you know, this week, trying to, at least, you know, from 4 to 6, there's more, there's more, okay, there's more information. But uh, from 4 to 6, instead of putting um, love, put Jesus, read it like that, and then later put your name on it. And for those ones do you feel like a less is maybe the, 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 the area that God is calling you to grow. Okay? When you say like a impatient, are you impatient? Are you patient? Are you impatient? Okay? Check it out. Now you could say, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I, I think so, you know, sometimes. Well, if you are not sure, talk to the people who live with you. Talk to the people who know you, okay? And you will know for sure that is, you know, that is yes or no, okay? Do you have a, like a, mm, I can have that out of here, like, oh, mm, no. You know, they, they let us know, okay? With love, okay? <laughs> with, uh, with a time that say, look, I want to grow, so I want you to help me in this area. So we're trying to become more like Christ, Okay? And this is the love that Christ has for us. So if we're trying to become more like him in this area, instead of reading and saying, like, yes, I could, I could be like that maybe for a certain time, but not 24-7. I could handle, you know, to be kind when everything's going okay to, uh, in my life. I could be kind uh, with most of the people. But it's kind of something that I, that I cannot control, that I get angry, that I, and then forget it, okay? Maybe for a, for a certain time I could do it, but I could do it, you know, for the whole time. Well, go and search your heart. 
do a little bit of, uh, you know, with the, with the magnified glass, okay? And start checking those things. And in those ones, do you feel like a really, oh, man, I need God over here? Yes, you need God in order to be in that position. You need Jesus, okay, with you. In order to accomplish this kind of love, you need Jesus with you. So when you do this, uh, and then you know what is that one that you to grow more, then ask God, involve God. Say, when I could start practicing this. When I could do it next time that that happened, instead of getting angry or ah, or, or, or um, 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 patient or, 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 or unkind or <laughs> something like that, um, how can I switch this time? And you know, because when we do things, okay, and then later say, ah, why do I do this thing? And you don't think about it. And next time it happen, it happened the same thing, okay, and over and over. And the people sometimes around you don't want to say anything to you because they know, ah, it's Lucio. Oh, he get angry like that. Yeah, he's Lucio. Oh, but he's impatient. Yeah, he's Lucio. Sometimes he's not kind. Like, um, he's Lucio. When they say that, it's, it's him. It means he's going to be like that forever. That the people give up on us and don't want to say anything to us. Because it's time that they say something to us, we get angry or disappointment or like that. And we don't want to change. We think, in, we accept Jesus in my heart, okay? I go to heaven. So don't bother me. <laughs> it's not the way that God wants. God wants us to be more like him and love like him. And of course, we're getting short. But the only way that we know how short we is is when we measure and we say, yes, yes. It's not enough to say, oh, yeah, I want to become better. When you say become better, what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> but when you go Little by little and checking each of them and see where the level is, then now you know which one of you need to grow more than the others. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much, you know, for today. Thank you for, uh, you know, showing, showing us uh, how you love us. Amen. But sometimes it's uh, difficult, you know, to, to be like you, okay? Uh, look like a was most, more easy for you, but, uh, but it's not like that. It's, it requires um, being focused in you. It requires to live a little uh, day by day, we become more like you. If you don't want to us to change uh, like that in, uh, and when we accept you in our heart, but you want us to, since that time, until you come again or until we leave, you could change us little by little. This uh, um, a big change is like an elephant. <laughs> the only way that we could uh, uh, change or eat it is bite by bite. That we could do one little things every day. But the time that the time passed, we could see how far we're becoming more like you. Bless us and, and, and help us in, uh, in this uh, life, in the way that, we, that you want to use our life and, uh, and to do your will in our life. Bless this church and do your will in this church also. Bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Can you please stand? God, one who can. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord may his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen.